Good morning, my dear sisters and brothers in Iraq. This conference is a wonderful initiative and I'm honoured that you asked me to share a few words. I won't say much, and certainly not about content and technique, as you, sitting in this room, are the experts, and which is why you are all here attending Iraq's first bloggers' conference, Mabruk. What I do want to say is that you're an exceptional community of new media users. Your commitment to peace building by sharing news across religion, ethnicity and gender is outstanding. At this very rocky time for Iraq on the political front, Bravo for not accepting incitement to violence. Bravo for not accepting to play into sectarian hatred. Bravo for using your voices to build peace and to empower others with access to information. We look to you for inspiration. What I do want to point out, however, is the importance of having an enabling legislative environment in which the free flow of information can continue. Article 19 of the Geneva Convention states that freedom of expression is a fundamental human right. Freedom of expression is your right. And it is set out under Article 38 of your Constitution. Hold to account the institutions set up to protect and legislate for your human rights. You now have a Human Rights Committee in the Iraqi Parliament and a Human Rights Commission on the way to being formed. These institutions are there to serve the people and to ensure that your human rights are safeguarded in line with international best practices. Again, <laughs> I thank you so much for asking me to speak. My door is open to you should you wish to get into contact and discuss some of these issues further. Your enthusiasm, intelligence and determination to be the ambassadors of peace in Iraq is commendable. Enjoy this great conference. Salam, salam, shukran jazeelam.